This is the short text assignment overview. The reason why I have created this assignment is so that you can be part of a learner-centered class, learn how scholars read academic texts, practice the process which takes place over more than one sitting, and prepare to write your essay. My goal for you is not to give you busy work. I know how busy we all are with classes, work, and home life. For each of the assigned readings, you will read them at least twice. Most, if not all, of these are not quick and easy assignments, even if the readings seem to be straightforward. Collegiate level reading and critical thinking are different than reading for pleasure or how-to modules. When you read the text that you receive, or ones based on your own interests, the goals are different in terms of depth, and what you have to do with what you read may be as little as nothing or as much as responding to a friend or family member on social media. For academic readings, you are expected to respond showcasing your critical thinking with analysis, which means to break something down so that you can understand the whole better, or synthesis, which means to connect two or more ideas or quotations or texts to create a deeper meaning, or with some other action that showcases that you understand the material and can use it. These may happen on your own sometimes, too, but it is always expected for an academic setting, regardless of the level. This means that you will most likely have to read a text multiple times. The teacher expects it. It's like peeling an onion to get to the center in order to understand the depth of it. Rereading is a natural way of carrying out the work of a writer. It is not something done out of despair or as a punishment of not getting things right the first time. Those coherent readings we construct begin with confusion and puzzlement and we construct those readings by writing and rewriting, by working on a text. So, I've devised a process that you will work through that models what scholars do at each stage of reading, before, during, and after. Thus, for each set of readings, you will have three assignments, noted as point one, point two, and point three, and which you will work on over the course of a module. Furthermore, because our class is an English class and it is based on themes and micro-themes, I would like you to think about the following as you read. Why might the author have written the story he or she did? What might have been omitted from the text and why? What can you learn about being a writer from the texts? Consider the role of race, gender, and class and how they play or don't play a role in the text and questions about each of our themes. I look forward to supporting you on your journey and learning from you as well. We will have a Zoom meeting for each module where we can talk about the text almost like we are in person. Thank you.